You know, the law of attraction works in such mysterious ways. It really does. Whatever you direct your mind and attention to, that is what your reality becomes. I'm not going to say that that is the universal reality of the world and things that, you know, everything that happens, because, you know, no matter how positively you think and all that sort of stuff, bad stuff is still going to happen. But the thing is, I feel as though so many people who have this positive mindset, who try to think positively or believe in law of attraction, they, they still have some sort of negativity within them that's drawing a lot of negativity to them. They really, they really think other people are controlling them to some degree. Here's like a, here's like a very good, good example. Like we think that we are so small compared to these I don't ever like to call them elite people. They are obsolete, you know, people who have the power and money to literally change the things that happen and basically control your life. A lot of people think that those people control your life because, well, they do if you allow them to. And by allow them to, I mean, you focus on it. You focus on what these obsoletes are doing to the point where they are literally controlling how you feel about yourself. They're controlling the way that you interact with people. Maybe you become more hostile and angry and you just, you know, you're just, you know, it's not all that good. And I've found, you know, I've had my, my times of that. I think a lot of people, they go through that phase when they have some sort of awakening, when they, when they become aware of just how evil things are in the world, how people will do anything for power and money. They, and and what, I, what do I mean by anything? I literally mean anything, any heinous crime you could possibly manage, any heinous thing that they could possibly do and get away with, even if they just come right out with it, people will still support them. People will say, you know, oh, he, he, was, he, he had every right to do that. You know, I still have respect for him, you know, or her or they, them, or, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever else. So I think people give so much attention to that, that they allow these people to get into these positions because they allow it. And once you turn your focus away from that and just start focusing it more inward of what you want to accomplish, what you want to succeed with in life, what you excel at, what you're good at, what you're capable of doing, then all of that nonsense of other people controlling you has all been an illusion. You realize it's all been an illusion because who has the ability to control you? Only you. If you believe all these people are out to get you and do you harm and to lock you down and control every aspect of your life. Sure, you have to be mindful of those things. You have to be aware of those things. Okay, because that's what these obsoletes try to do. Absolutely. But the moment you make that your reality by focusing on it and becoming scared of it and just that's all you think about how and how fearful you are, you manifest that reality for yourself. I've tried to tell this to people before. I've said this to people before. I've said this to people that I that I have known before. And I say this to them, and they just cannot get out of that negative thinking that they're in. They constantly think that other people are going to do this stuff to them. And I'm like, if you, if you continuously think that, you will see your world and your reality go down such a dark hole that you cannot get out from because you have essentially trained your mind into thinking all these negative things. The moment you change that and start focusing on what you truly want, what you truly desire in this life, then you start to notice things shifting around you in a more positive way. And what do I mean by that? So if I want to attract something, okay, so let's say you're trying to attract, you know, a, perhaps you don't like, like your job. Or actually, this is the example that I use a lot. And I think it's very fitting because it shows how Things can, per things can be perceived as negative when it's not really negative. So 
let's say you are you have some financial problems and you want to be able to bring more wealth into your life so you can you know start building up your your money and perhaps you know move somewhere else or whatever else the case is okay so you're working tire tirelessly you 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 don't like your job you 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 despise it it's awful it's t- absolutely t- terrible and then you get fired and then you get fired and then you you think Gosh, how could things get even worse? But that's part of what you're trying to manifest here. You don't like your job anymore. You want to get a new job. So, But you're thinking it's going to be some magical job that's just going to appear out of nowhere, and you're just going to accept it and take it. However, no, that's not, that's not always the case. Usually, you may get fired from it. You may have a bad de- de- departure or whatever else. Something bad may end up happening, and you lose the job. You get stressed out, but you continue to remain positive on what your goal is. Then you have two job interviews. One of them, actually, no, let's just say you have one job inter- interview or maybe maybe a bunch, but let's just say that there's one job that you feel as though is your ideal job. You love it. It's amazing. It's great. I can just keep building upon this story, but okay. This job is maybe you have to travel somewhere. So that will fulfill your dream of having to leave this area that, that you're in that you don't like anymore and you, you weren't ready to go somewhere else. So you interview for the job, hoping to get it, hoping to get it. Unfortunately, you didn't get it. So you're still, you don't have a job right now. Thing You're stressed out. It's like, that was my dream job. That was what I always wanted. And then you wait just a little bit longer, maybe a few more days, and you get another job interview that seems to be even better. Even better. Perhaps higher paying, more in alignment with what you really like, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's the reason why I didn't get the other one. So something that seemed negative, got fired from your job, you didn't get hired at this other one. It seems negative to you on the surface because once you zoom out, you realize, oh, that was meant to happen. That's part of the law of attraction at play. You asked for something, a higher paying job, something you would like more, and you got it. However, the problem is with this other job, it's local to to where you are, and you wanted to move somewhere because you don't like where you're living. Even with making more money, maybe you still cannot afford another new house in the area or to go, to go somewhere else. Let's just say, and again, I can keep building upon this story. This is like an amazing story that I'm just kind of, you know, envisioning here. But it's like, okay, then you go to the new job. It's absolutely amazing. It, it, you know, it is, it is, it's fantastic. You get hired and whatever. And you go there and, you know, perhaps there's some, you know, family issue or something. And it's like, that makes you realize, that's why I could not move. That's why I could not leave this area. That's why I didn't get the other job, because I would have moved away from my family that needed me during this family emergency. You know, just something along those those lines. So we have to see how things are laid out for us. Everything's going to happen for a reason. And it's up to you to make it a positive reason or a negative reason. In addition to that, the other thing you have to be mindful of is whatever you think about is what manifests and it may happen in such ways that you may not even be aware of what's happening okay if you want to attract money to you there may be things that happen that are completely unrelated to job money whole bunch of stuff you know it could be completely unrelated but once you once the foundation has been laid and you start to see all of the things line up then you look back and go Oh, I see now. I see how that thing that happened that was unrelated was meant to happen. It was part of the building process. You know? Learning new skills, learning new abilities, learning a whole bunch of different things. Whatever you focus on, you draw to you. It may not happen it won't happen the exact way that that you envision it. It's not going to be some magical thing that's like you snap your fingers and there it is. 
you know? You have to work for it. You have to see your efforts pay off. And then once the reality starts setting in, it takes a few weeks, mind you. It takes a few weeks for your brain to start becoming conditioned to your new way of thinking, your new patterns and habits and actions that you do. But once you start changing some of yourself like that, then what happens is that you draw that to you and you begin to see how things are working in your favor. They're slowly starting to go in the way that you wanted them to. They didn't happen as fast as you would have wanted. They didn't happen the exact way you would have wanted. But the end result, it will be better than anything you would have ever imagined. Because you were expecting something quick, sudden, and when something happens that quickly and suddenly, oftentimes it goes back down. So if, if it's a very gradual way up, it goes to a higher peak than it could have before and you manifest even better things. So those are just my words for you based on my experiences, you know, doing all sorts, sorts of things and, and learning different things every single day. But let me know what your thoughts are on this. I'm going to go now and I will see you all later. So take care now. Bye-bye.